Was the Caesar salad invented in ancient Rome or 1920s Mexico? Outwardly, this is a fairly innocuous question. But in the context of Wikipedia's Caesar salad page, this was the crux of the single bloodiest edit war that the website ever saw. On one side, there were the reactionaries, Mexican nationalists fighting for the pride of their homeland. On the other, the revolutionaries, Italian partisan editors defending the pride of their heritage. October 24th, 2001. A time in which Wikipedia and the world was a very different place. The website spoke in a much more casual tone of voice, and there was an air of sentimentality far different from the cold, mature Wikipedia of 2022. On this day, user Demiral, the 118th Wikipedia editor, decided to make a new page with the announcement, New Entry, Yum. It was a brief and unassuming page. No one could have guessed the extent of what was to come. This is called foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Throughout the first few years of the page existing, edits were innocent enough. Formatting, spelling, tone, one person changed it to say Caesar salad, but that was reversed the same day. Another person wrote that it was Hitler's favorite salad, but they seemed to have plucked this from thin air. But for the most part, everything was going smoothly, until summer of 2008. A petty exchange took place. Users began changing the origin of the salad from Italy slash Mexico to Mexico and back again. And so it began. This war was not yet taking center stage of the article's reputation. It was a quiet conflict. As editing and vandalism continued in other parts of the article, the country of origin kept changing back and forth from Italy to Mexico to Italy slash Mexico. On August 27th, 2009, everything would change. An anonymous user removed the entire introduction to the article which at the time was in favor of the Italian-born Mexican Cesar Sardini creating the salad. Accompanying these revisions was the bold message, Those facts were false. Naturally, this edit was reverted in no time, but it did reveal the tenacity of the Italian forces. Not long after, some of the first actual arguing began to take place. User Ednerd wrote that, Contrary to popular belief, Caesar Sardini did get his original recipe from an old Roman transcribed text that shared a popular victory dish that gave a seminal recipe to this modern salad. This was removed, so he challenged the consensus, stating that it was common knowledge. Doug Weller responded, stating that his source was nonsensical and therefore Ednerd's revision should not be taken seriously. But Ednerd wasn't going to take this sitting down, no, he backed up his credibility and said that he was a Roman historian. Doug wasn't having any of this. He reverted Ed's edit again and questioned his status as a historian of Rome. The editing continued until Jeter issued protection over the page due to edit warring. Now you see, Wikipedia's protection policy is extremely important to controversial articles, and will need a little explaining. The lowest level of protection, and the kind that was issued on the Caesar salad page, is semi-protection. This really just exists to keep unregistered Wikipedians from vandalizing anything, and it's present in a lot of moderately controversial articles. Extended confirmed protection, on the other hand, is present on only the most disputed pages of the website. Through extended confirmed protection, users are only able to edit the page if they have over 500 edits and their account is at least a month old. Things very, very rarely go beyond extended confirmed protection, but there is such thing as full protection, the level of protection where only admins can edit the page. I've seen this mythical level of protection once in my life on the Austria-Hungary page due to a brutal edit war stretching back for years over the historical design of Austro-Hungarian flags. A measly little semi-protection wasn't going to be enough to silence Ednerd. He was determined. Through sock puppeting he was able to keep editing the article, but Doug Weller put him down with a 30-day protection, preventing his alternative Michigan IPs from further editing the article. This would serve as a ceasefire to the conflict. The page resided in relative peace for a few months. The caretakers of the article would have been wise to savor these days, for the worst was yet to come. In March of 2010, it happened again. This wasn't serious ideological editing, just replacing Caesar Sardini's first name with his last name, hinting at the idea of Julius Caesar being the original creator. Once June came, the war erupted with all of its fury. Italian partisan forces struck at 7.49 p.m. on an otherwise ordinary Monday, Three weeks of stillness passed until a particularly passionate editor ambushed the introduction. Lamont 170 wrote, 
Caesar salad was invented by Augustus Caesar, bitches. Reverted and re-reverted and back again. The editors clashed on that page for the better part of the summer. In September, there was another attempt to add Julius Caesar to the page, although Mercracus would revert this, referring to such additions as silliness. Were they silly? Perhaps they were. But what wasn't silly was the dedication of the Italian editors, because the Edawar fired up again in mid-2011. Now the Italians weren't focusing on cementing Julius Caesar as the original inventor of the salad, but were instead arguing that immigrant Caesar Sardini was Italian, not Mexican. It was here that Beeblebrox naively thought that by using established facts, he could end the war. Maybe. If humans were logical creatures, it would have ended here. But that is not how things played out. Instead, infrequent low-intensity editing would persist for many more months. A Frenchman attacked in January of 2012. Although working alone, he wasn't able to have any lasting influence. Only a month later, another whole article act of vandalism occurred, for the first time on the site of the Mexican Alliance. Of course they knew this would be instantly reverted, but this wasn't about actually changing a message. This was about sending a message. A message saying that the Mexicans weren't going to be playing by the rules of Wikipedia. That from here on, anything goes. 2013 AD. The 27th of May, 2.01 AM. An Italian reconnaissance unit infiltrates the article, destroying the history section and leaving a single, defiant sentence. It was made by Julius Caesar. The article would remain vandalized for three long minutes. By attacking while the Mexicans were sleeping, Italian units were able to make changes to the article that would take a longer time to be repaired. Also, while all this was going on, someone was trying to advertise for their New Orleans restaurant, but they wouldn't get away with it. And so the fighting persisted this way for some time, a quiet tit-for-tat between the opposing sides, with the occasional act of spontaneous violence by a third party. In 2015, seven bloody years after the war began, the history page was attacked once more. It seemed as though there would be no end to the struggle. Many wars outside Wikipedia started and ended while the Caesar Salad Edit War was ongoing. But alas, 2015 came and went, and in 2016 the war was as passionate as ever. The history section, now written with the corpses of thousands of revisions, was assaulted anew. It is here that there is some questioning of the affiliation of the editors, as some taking the Italian stance appear to be merely shitposting. But it should be noted that this stance was not representative of all Italian forces, as many hardliners still remained entirely sincere in defending their country's honor. The user General Julius Caesar was partly responsible for bringing the Caesar origin perspective past 2017, but it was not long until he was slain by Wikipedia jannies. Now, in this kind of situation, the average person would fold, but not the general. He arose from the dead to edit the article once more, defying the Mexican opposition when they thought they were safe. His edits would lay unrevised for two minutes. It is possible that this charismatic editor inspired even more unaffiliated parties to deface the article. Late summer of 2017 saw an unusually high amount of disruption coming from individual editors. It is around this time that a new Mexican narrative was brought forward, with this one owing absolutely nothing to Italy. A Mexican strategist adopted the Julio strategy, putting forth the notion that the salad was created by Mexican boxer Julio Chavez. As you'd imagine, this was a short-lived campaign. Time passed. Come 2018, much of the resentment had died down. Most of the mischief on the page had been reduced to unfunny puns, the likes of which were quickly reverted. Was this a sign that the Great Edit War was nearing its conclusion? Had both sides finally grown apathetic to the status of the country of origin of the Wikipedia Caesar Salad article? January 2019 Mexican advances, Italian advances, it was a never-ending war of attrition. Indeed, the war had become so notorious that some signs of self-awareness even began to spring up within the attacks, and unaffiliated Jannies would even add a warning message regarding the conflict. It was simply a part of Wikipedia, a storm that would persist so long as there were Italians and so long as there were Mexicans. And so, the war entered its third decade in 2020. Could there ever be a resolution to this struggle? Could there ever be a treaty that would satisfy both factions? 
the answer brings us to the current year. As of today, there has been little to no Mexican or Italian fighting on the page for the past several months. Yes, in the past such an armistice would precede the very worst of the fighting, but I would like to think that it may actually be over. That each party saw how pointless the fighting was, and decided instead to do what they knew was right. Soldiers had become veterans, many of them developing PTSD from the fearsome combat. Some still edit the page to this day. Beeblebrox, 11 years later, continues to edit the page. And to think, if the mural could scarcely imagine the rage he brought into the world that fateful October 24th, 2001. There is one relevant endnote to this video. Throughout its entirety, I didn't mention the great anchovy debate once. For that subject is so convoluted, I feel as though it would deserve a video unto itself. Also, I feel as though I should mention something about my last video. The day I uploaded it, I had 18 subscribers. And at the time I'm recording this, I have 1,875 subscribers. I am extremely grateful for you all, as most channels have to grind for much, much longer to achieve that kind of audience. I'm being sincere when I say that I am very excited to upload more. I have a lot of ideas I think you'll enjoy, so... To everyone, thank you.